Greetings! My name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am here once again at Gear Gaming Bentonville with Robbie. And today I am bringing out Darth Vader, which we haven't run in years, and also bringing out a bunch of the rogues, playing with some bounty hunters I've never played with before. And Robbie's also trying a, a first time with Mon Mothma with an MSU style list. And as you can see, Robbie has started painting his squadrons. It's like, looks really good on the table. It's kind of inspired me. I'm not a painter, but I'm to maybe, I don't know, commission Robbie or maybe my brother-in-law, he's a painter, to get my squadrons painted up so it looks good on the channel because they these look really sharp. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. Um, and uh, you'll especially see that once you see the fleets. Basically, large firepower for my Star Destroyer versus a whole bunch of small, fast, hard-to-kill ships with evades with Mon Mothma. So coming up, We'll go over the fleets and mission, and then after that, we'll do deployment with the pre-game interview. For the Imperials, we have Darth Vader on an ISD Psymoon 1 refit with Commander Beck, Gunnery Teams, Spinal Armament, and XX9 Turbo Lasers. Two Raider 2s, each with disposable capacitors and heavy iron emplacements. And for Imperial Squadrons, we have Boba Fett, IG-88, IG-88 Bravo, and two Mandalorian Gauntlet Fighters. For the Rebels, we have Mon Mothma on the Yavaris, a Nebulon B escort frigate, with Flight Commander and Fighter Coordination Team. Lando Calrissian on the Foresight, an MC-30 torpedo frigate, with Ordnance Experts, Reinforced Blast Doors, and Assault Proton Torpedoes. Two TRC-90 Corvettes, which are the slaying term for the, TR for the CR-90A, with Turbo Laser Reroute Circuits, an oldie but goodie. And the Bright Hope on a GR-75 Median Transport with Tor and Far and Bomber Command Center. For Rebel Squadrons, we have three X-Wing Squadrons and four Y-Wing Squadrons. For the point spread, I came in right at 400 points and Robbie came in at 399, and Robbie chose to be second player, and his missions were Targeting Beacons, Planetary Ion Cannon, and Solar Corona. And I chose to go with Targeting Beacons, and this works that after we place obstacles, we alternate, starting with Robbie, placing four objective tokens. And any time Robbie's shooting one of my ships with one of his ships, and my ship is within distance one to two of an objective token, he can choose to reroll up to two attack dice in his attack pool. So coming up next, we will have deployment on an overlay while Robbie and I discuss strategy and tactics in the pre-game interview. Alright, Robbie, why don't you go and tell me about your fleet design here, the strategy behind that, and with deployment, etc. I've always been kind of shy of running MSU fleets because uh, I'm not the best pilot in the world. <laughs> so, um, I always wanted to try Mon Mothma also, she's one of the commanders I've never had a chance to run but I've always wanted to, so I tried to find as many evade tokens you know, as I could run. Uh, I was trying to create, uh, so with the MC-30 uh, I've always realized it's a good ship but I've just always been scared for some reason to, to run it. And uh, you know, I, I beefed it up to make sure he could at least hopefully get one shot at something with its torpedoes, uh, assault proton torpedoes, so they're usually just running racks. But this time I decided to just try something different. And uh, I went with two Corvettes, I like the Corvettes, just with the turbo laser reroute circuits to try to kind of outflank something and move around. And then the Yavaris uh, to push, uh, Yavaris and Bright Hopes to push squadrons around. Um, I don't know, I guess I just trying to jury, jury rig this together. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. I, there was no, I know there's three threats on the board. You've got the uh, Torpedo Frigate, you've got the Yavaris, and you've got the two 
Corvette. So uh, let's see what happens. Uh, like I said, this is more just to see how Mon Mothma runs. And mm -hmm. just, run, just see what she does. Because I've never run her as an admiral. So. Should be interesting though. Yeah, Mon Mothma can be very annoying. <laughs> yeah, we'll, with we'll getting, letting you discard dice at medium range. Yeah. And it's one of those I have to consider if I even want to shoot at Foresight. That MC30 has Foresight and Lando on it. And you're getting Mon Mothma. It's, it's, I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd have yeah. to get an unbelievable. I mean, I'd have to get so many accuracies just to make it worth the shot. And then I'm taking away from actual damage. And then Lando can just cancel out an entire dice roll that's really bad. It's like, is it even. <laughs> do I want to just ignore it and just go for everything else? I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a. Uh, uh, this. Like I said, make sure I had five activations. That's pretty much it. Uh, I've always usually feel safer running big ships when we kind of move, push out of my comfort zone this game and just uh, uh, see what happens. I know Mon Mothma, it's usually a lot of people say run Starhawk and put the uh, evade token on that. Yeah, that's, but, yeah. <laughs> that's just that's, yeah, that's just mean. Yeah, that's mean. That's cruel. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. That sounds fun, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but that will have to wait for a later date. But uh, just going to see what happens. Uh, this is more of an experimental what happens type of fleet when you put Mon Moth 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 Mothma on a bunch of uh, evade ships. Well, I wanted to try out Vader. I hadn't, I haven't run Vader in forever, and so wanted to want to bring out the Psy Moon, just get lots of long range red dice, and with Vader basically being able to reroll whenever I need it. And I brought the Raiders because I love Raiders, specifically Raider Twos. And one thing that helps out the Raider Twos with running Vader is like, well, I can put myself a specialty ion cannon on there mm -hmm. and I can get rerolls now with Vader so I can almost uh, not guarantee but up my chances of getting those heavy iron emplacements to cook off every time they shoot which can really be helpful and useful against uh, your small ships here especially mm -hmm. to drop drain, drain your shields down yeah. just a matter of me keeping them alive long enough yeah. to be able to get the shots off because they are fragile um, much more durable though with the changes to evades in 1.5 but you're also very durable now with the changes yeah. to evades yeah. with my Mothma so this is going to be interesting yeah. Um, I, I don't think I've never run the IG88s, and I think I've run Bubble Fett once. So I was not planning on doing any squadron commands this game, so that's why I went with all rogues. I usually don't go all rogues. So we'll see how these bounty hunters and rogue Mandalorians can actually be effective against your Y wings and X wings. See if I can't lock down, basically lock down your bombers, because if I can't, that's just going to be even more bee stings you can throw at me. And Multiple beast things is going to be a problem. And with deployment, you know, when we set up the targeting beacons, it just kind of. Yeah. It does. I don't think they're going to even be in. Be, yeah. We, when we were setting them up, I was like, well, I'm just going to just focus on this one side of my setup once that I get to pick, and then I'm just going to deploy on the opposite side, so I don't even have to worry about you getting the benefit. So. I probably didn't. I probably should have spread the tokens out a little more. Because um, now we're basically just basically throw this side of the metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But it did it did force me to deploy to one side because yeah. I didn't even want to risk getting near those. So yeah, well, yeah, that is true because it looks like the maybe the CR 90s are going to get at least maybe some. Yeah, well, yeah, you got them flanking. A so. really good flanking spot, and then your MC 30 is coming going to run right down my throat. And again, <laughs> it's one of those. Do I shoot at it? Right. <laughs> do right. I, and it's, if I do shoot that, I'm not going to kill it in one shot. Yeah. I might not even kill it in three shots. Yeah. So it's, you're, this is, uh, well, and once you get behind me, it's going to be, in, I'm in trouble. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see if I can't uh, lay down enough firepower on your other stuff before your MC-30 tears me apart. <laughs> so uh, uh, also, I'm just going to say here, I, I am outnumbered um, five to three, but I'm first player, so I only get one pass token. And then we are going to go ahead and set our um, dials, and then we'll be here at the start of round one. Okay, we are at the start of round one. Let's see everybody's speeds. Uh, Simon with Vader is going at speed two. Both my Raiders are going speed three. And I believe Robbie's entire fleet is going speed 2, except for Foresight is going speed 3. That's where everybody's starting speeds are at.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with Vader. It is a navigate command, and I'm going to use it to slow down to speed one. Just staying straight for now. Have a navigate, take the token. And I'm going to go speed two. Okay, my unmarked Raider, it is a Navigate, I'm going to use it to speed up to speed 4, and again, also getting an extra click at the 1 here. And yeah, you got your with the Navigate, taking a token. Doing my marked raider it is also navigate and speeding up to speed four and getting an extra click at the four and staying right in line with its counterparts. I'm going to get a marker for it. Concentrate fire. Let's take a token. And we're going to speed three. Alright, so we will go with the other Corvette. Concentrate fire. Take a token. Moving same thing. Speed two. I didn't make a speed three maneuver, did I? Oh, you did make a speed three maneuver. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna just run that back real quick. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. Well, yeah. we'll go back here. Yep. <laughs> so redoing that. There. I wasn't even paying attention. Is that right? Sure. I just assumed that they were going yeah. fast because that's what they usually go. All right. So uh, he moves forward, and then I'm gonna use the other one, the uh, unmarked one. We're going to go speed two. Just you just put it on the other side if you're going to do that little side change there. Yeah. Get out of the way. Oh, I think you just overlapped that asteroid. Uh, no, you're barely missing it. <laughs> barely missing it. Foresight. That's going speed three. Yes. Navigate. I am going to use the click. We're going to go through. Alright, next up we got the squadron phase. Uh, it's just going to be movement, even though I do have a bunch of rogues, I have no desire to throw them into the fray yet. So, I'll go over the uh, review of the movement at the start of round two. Start of round two. And we are definitely not going to be short on some engagements this round. Both IG 88s have moved forward as well as Boba Fett and the Mandalorian staging, preparing as the Y Wings and their X Wing escorts. Also getting into range to begin to do some bombing runs, because my raiders have jumped forward. We'll see if they can remain fast enough, and hopefully their evades can keep them alive as they skirt into the front of the rebel lines. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with my unmarked raider. It is a concentrate fire, and I am going to expend my disposable capacitors. To be able to do a long range shot with my blue dice. This activation. Now we'll be doing a long range front to front into the Yavaris with Mon Mothma. And then I'll just take um, a pot shot, one blue dice, side to side there. Uh, maybe make Robbie spend one of his mini defense tokens mm -hmm. that he has. Unlimited amount. Okay, just going to start with the point shot side to side. 
into foresight. It's an accuracy. Nothing happened. <laughs> okay, so now for the front to front shot. Three blue dice. Pretty good so far. And go ahead and concentrate fire in the blue. That was a crit. Alright, and I don't feel any need to do any rerolls of Vader, so I don't need to spend any of mine. Alright, so you've got two crits and two hits coming in. And this is long range. Bust in the uh, evade. Oh, that's it. First, I'll brace the two. Well, yeah, so I'm sure you want to, uh, you're going to want to cancel one of these, right, I'm guessing? Yeah. With the evades, yeah. So cancel one with the evade, and then it'll still be bracing it to two. Okay. All right, and then I will then go in and use my um, high heavy island emplacement. So before you take damage, you're going to take one on the front and both side shields, and then there'll be two damage remaining that'll go into the front. All right, I am running at speed four, no nav, so I'm just doing some clicks along the path here. Okay, activating your virus with the squad command. And it gets you a two, right? Yeah. Okay. Take one wing. Do some bombing shots into my side. Where is your shooting going to be at? If you know. You don't, you don't have to pick now. Side, front to side. So I have you in. Do I have you double arc? You do. So you can do front to side and side to side. Okay, so uh, and this will be at. Looks like we'll be medium range for both shots. Alright, we've got some good. bomber shots coming in. Send to my side. Be the red bomber. Uh, take it. Uh, I'm just gonna take it. So, shields down. Next one. Um, I will evade that. So, I'm gonna reroll. Bomber command. Did I use it? Um, no, because this is uh, during my spin defense token step, so it's no longer your. You okay. can't manipulate dice now. Okay. Right, so you want to do the side shot or the front shot first? Uh, the front shot into your side. And it's a three reds. Mm. I get to it. Doesn't like anything to. Yep. Okay. okay. And then side. Yep. So you get a blue and a red. Blue and a red. <clears throat> Oh, nice one. No, you, no this still counts. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. So, double crit coming in. I will um, when evade the blue. Uh, man, it does not. Yep. So brace, and I have to take a face up. And my face up is missil project misaligned. My whole zone with the most shields loses all shields. If multiple whole zones, then I get to choose. So I'm going to choose my port side loses its shields. And its starboard side is also right, down. So port side is also down. I got really lucky with that one black reroll I made you do. No reds. I have no idea what my deal is with red. Yeah, like last like, game too, man. Your reds were just <laughs> the red completely just, just like yeah. <laughs> How many holes do they have? They have four. Yeah, see if I'd, even if I'd gotten two. Yeah, it, I mean, I've, been nice. I, I've only got three hole left on this guy. Golly. Yeah, they're they're CR 90s basically. Maybe <laughs> one, maybe one day. All right, so you're moving speed two. I'm gonna go to speed one. Yep, using his nap token, slowing down to one. Okay, gonna go with my marked raider. Also expend his disposable capacitors. 
even though my heavy irons are going to do anything now because this front and side shields are down, but uh, front and side shields are down, and I want to go and see if I can get some damage in on your bars while I have the chance. Then again, another just a little plank shot side to side, see if I, you know, force him to spend anything. At first, side to side plank shot. Uh, we do have one hit onto the side. Yep. Canceled. All right, and then for three blues into the front of Yavaris. Yeah. And that was caught, so we'll re-roll that one. Okay, I will stop your green brace and take two. So I will I'll burn the... Okay, so one damage. One damage. Yep. Yep, yeah, just one face down. So uh, I'm just going to let Robbie burn the uh, exhausted brace because uh, it's going to be the same difference. There's no reason for to need to burn his evade. So he still has a green brace and an exhausted uh, evade. Now I'm currently moving at speed 4. I do have a navigate, so let me see what I want to do here as far as... So I want to keep my speed up. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Staying at speed 4, but getting the click at the 1. I'm just going to come in and bracket. I'm off for next turn, although I'm setting myself to get some more bomber shots coming in. <laughs> but we'll see. Multiple targets. Fluttering command. And I'm out of range for the Y wings. It's going to have to be the X wings. And your shields, what about your back? My back are at two, my front are at two, my sides are at zero. Three health remaining. So if I go back here, can I still shoot him at the side? Oh yeah, and as long as you're within distance one. Which, yeah, it's, it's definitely distance one. Is that still distance one? Oh yeah. Okay, that one. This one. There's not going to be distance one. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, that it's one. it's a uh, distance one is longer than you think. Pretty, pretty, pretty All right, coming in. Bombing run. Just gonna leave that. I will burn this. Reroll. Same thing. All right. So face up damage. Depowered armament. I cannot attack at long range. Okay. And then the next one. One. I will leave that. I will take a face down, and I have one health remaining. I'm going to use token. I'm going to slow down. Slow down to one. one. Yep. Makes sense. And. Let's click once. No, I'm just going to send one right in. Anything. Yeah, you'll be. You're not going to hit anybody. I'll do my Simon, and it's going to be an engineering. I'm taking a token. And just still going forward, speed one, nice and steady. And people in front of me. Yeah, mark one. Okay, what do we got? Uh, we have navigate. Okay, he's going to shoot my side. It is, it's obstructed from the debris field, but it is not crossing my line, so he can get shoot at my side that does not have any shields there. If he only gets one red dice, but this is going to base guarantee that I'm going to have to burn my evade not to die. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Do you want to get... TRC it? Um, yeah, we're going to have to, so TRCs. So, TRC it to a double, and then I'll burn that so I don't die, but now all I have left is a brace. Speed to speed three. Oh yeah, oh. That will be a double arc for next turn. No, I got two more. Okay. Uh, go get a CRT. Navigate. Moving speed three. Well, you're currently two, but two. I'm assuming you want to speed up. Yeah, so we'll go up to three. No, this is... I guess you can just swap those. Yeah, this one was the one that yeah. burnt. This one is not burnt. Still have a navigate. Still at three. I don't know if there's no, you might want to stay at speed two. 
Yeah, we'll let him go. Let's go back down to speed two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. All right, so we'll go stay down at speed two. Go back down. So we can get to like use the. So is that Vader ship? Uh, well, yeah, this is um. Uh, uh, but he's the commander I'm running, and this is my flex. So yes, he is on this ship. Okay. Yeah, when you build your fleet, you basically can build it however you want. You have a certain number of points. We're playing a 400-point game. Okay. And you have one commander, and then you can build your ships out. They have different upgrade slots, the different types of upgrades you can fill them out with, um, officers, the types of squadrons you can bring, etc. Yeah, so I often... Um, so can he have people, like, sneak onto that ship? Yeah. So there, there is there are cards called boarding teams. I haven't played with those much, but they are where you can, like, if you get close, you can then discard your boarding teams, and you can, like... Uh, Make them discard defense tokens, or like Vader actually can make can actually get on and kill people on the other. He can go down like cut down his, you know, an opposing officer or whatever. You can also force them to switch their their command dials. Yeah. So if they have like a like this one, I want to move my squadron. So if you had boarding teams, I'd have to throw it away and hope this was a good battle. Otherwise, I'd be misplanned. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there are there are set. They're not. I don't see them played much. I actually need to do that more often. Try to experiment with more of the boarding team yeah, stuff. But they can really mess with your opponent. The boarding team mechanic. I was just wondering because like that's kind of like what rebels do, right? They always yeah. have somebody go yeah. in and. But he's got. Yeah, it's actually both here. sides can do it. Yeah, not everybody. It's okay. not just rebels that do it, but both factions have. You have generic boarding teams, then you have specific ones. Like you have like Champs and Dula, and a Jen or so for the rebels. Okay, okay. Um, so, and then Vader's the only specific one for the Empire, but he's a mate. He's, like I said, he can just actually, he can actually kill actual so, people. So, do you have a Thrawn commander? I do, yeah. He's actually my favorite. And I think I think Thrawn's the best commander in the game, but of course I'm biased because he's one of my favorites, but I he's pretty I, amazing. Yeah. I wish they would have gone with his storyline on the sequels. Yeah, the Heir to the Empire trilogy should have been the sequel trilogy as far as I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'm gonna speed up to four. Okay. So you guys can see kind of the relation. No shot, because this is, this is the blue dice variant, so we didn't have any shots to shoot anybody. Should I say that? I moved. I might be in range now. No, nope, still at home range. Okay. So you can keep one click. Here he comes. <laughs> Start getting in behind me. These ships have shield generators, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so these dials on the sides. I don't think really find what they yeah, that and so like on the cardboard here it tells you like what their shield value is that they start at. So like this I imagine that's the best one you have. One of the best, yeah. But you, there's actually a superstar destroyer. And then I'm I do not know if you're familiar with like the New Republic um, recent history, but they have like the big Starhawk. So the Republic also has a big Starhawk or rebellion I should say. Oh, it's a big Starhawk. Right, right. But the new one, yeah. Yeah. In general, though, yeah, Imperial Star Destroyers are are kind of like the kings of the battlefield as far as the big ships. Are you allowed to mix sets? No, uh, not per the rules. But uh, I know that I know people that like to uh, try to make this their own house rules. So you can like swap ships out between factions. But why is it a bad thing? Well, it's just to keep the game balanced. To upgrade, um, upgrade cards. To and and you have like specific upgrade cards that are balanced for one faction. If you went to the other faction, might be broken. So. Alright, we're going to be coming up with the squad phase, and there is going to be some squad engagements, so we'll, we'll let you guys see those as they happen. Yeah, and I actually, uh, if you want to check out, I mean, I, I'm making this for my YouTube channel. I actually have a couple tutorial videos on my YouTube channel. And, and you can just watch these battle reports and you just kind of see how we play, and just to uh, get a feel for it. What's the name of your YouTube channel? It's called Downsize It. So you can just search Downsize It in the search bar. It should pull up at least one of the videos on my channel. Um, is it uh, no spaces? Or? No spaces. Yeah, just one word. I think I'm going to go with the uh, IG88s. I need to get in here and lock your guys down so they can. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need them to stop bonding me. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's this. Yep, that's my channel. Okay. And the battle reports is like what I'm filming here, but I have a couple introductory um, videos that goes into detail to explain the rules, etc. Yeah, uh, Robbie's getting into that. My other friend Rob also has just gotten into it doing the Clone Wars stuff. And they are definitely, 
they definitely upped their quality as far as the look of the. Yeah, that'll fit in there. Yeah, because like, uh, digital figurines like, probably weren't cheap, I would imagine. No, it, 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 as you get more stuff, it can definitely be an expensive hobby. <laughs> but, but it's not as expensive as, say, like Warhammer 40k. That's a really expensive hobby. <laughs> uh, what is that? Warhammer 40k. I don't know if you've ever heard of Warhammer. I mean, that, that, that's all that, that, but I was like, yeah. hmm. Those are, that's a, a far more expensive hobby. Oh, I bet. It's like pretty massive, right? Like, I don't know anybody who plays that game, but... I play it. <laughs> yeah, we we play it actually. I don't have a I don't have any bat reps of that yet. Eventually, I'll do some 40k stuff, but that's uh, gonna be far in the future. That's a much more difficult game to try to film a battle report for. Rules are a lot more complicated. Make <coughs> sure that I am engaging this X-wing as well. I am. All right, so my IG-8 is going in just to lock stuff down. Um, so this IG-88B is going to attack your, I guess. We'll call it Gold Squadron. It's not Gold Squadron, but the Yellow Squad. And then this IG-88, since he can he can ignore escorts, so he does not have to shoot the X-Wings, he's going to shoot your red Y-Wing right, we'll Squad. start with IG-88 Bravo. He gets two blue, two black. He's attacking the yellow Y-Wing Squad. For four damage. Wow. And the Assassin Droids. And then IG-88... The original, I guess you could say, is attacking your red uh, wings. You get s that'll be three damage. You get two squads. You've got your. Do I have to take attack edgy? Uh, yes, he is locking you down. You don't. You don't have to shoot him if you don't want to. He does have counter two, right, and he has counter one. You don't have to shoot him, but you can't move because they they don't have heavy, so they are locking you down. Okay, so I can't attack the. Start a store, uh, uh, correct, raider. yeah. Yeah, the reason, yeah, since he's locking you down, the white ones cannot um, attack my raider. That was, that was a key thing for me to do to try to stop those bombing runs from coming in. So, which ones do we want to uh, activate? The X wing, X wing, and then a Y wing, I guess, gonna be shooting at the other IG 88. Okay. The X wing, so X wing on the original IG 88. So, I'm gonna stop my scatter. That was a great hit. It <laughs> goes down to two health remaining, then counter two on the X-Wing. X-Wing takes two. Yep, and then the Y-Wing on IG-88B. I guess we use the, the blue one. The blue one, okay. Is that the one that's wounded? No. No, he's not the one that's wounded. Takes one and lock my scatter, and then counter one on this IG-88. He also takes one. Now we're gonna do my Mandalorians. I think I want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and bring. Yeah, I might actually be able to drop this white one. I'm gonna try that. So I think that will be in distance one. Oh, be close, but I think I'll get it. These little uh, squad tokens are really nice for mm -hmm. kind of getting exact measurements for. And also just not as annoying when trying to pick squadrons up and placing them back when you're doing damage, that sort of thing. Right, so this Mandalorian, oops, if I am actually in range, I am going to attack the yellow that has two health left. And then this Mandalorian is going to fly right into the middle of this ball here, and he does have to attack X-Wings because he does not have the ignore that IG-88 has, so he'll just attack this X-Wing squad here. Starting to mix it up. Alright, first Mandalorian on the yellow Y-Wing squad. Two blue and a red. I did get the two damage I needed. And then on the X-Wing squad for two damage. Uh, that one right there, yep. Yep. And then lastly, I'm just gonna do this here. The Buffet's gonna fly up and attack that same um, X-Wing squad. And I think I'm correct that Boba Fett's thing goes off when he's activated, not after the moves or whatever, or during. So. He does not get to do his damage thing yet, but that'll be next squadron phase. 
All right, four blues on that X Wing squad for two damage. It's like two X Wing squad is still alive on one. Okay, that's all our squads. We're going to do our planning, and then we'll be at the back at the start of round three. Okay, start of round three. We are going to see some ships go down. My Raider for one this is most likely going to go down. He only has one health left and really nothing he can do about it. He's going to go out in a blaze of glory. And then, most importantly for the Rebels though, Lando Calrissian on the Foresight is now in my flanks. And there's nothing I can do about it. I will never get a good shot on this on him. And he is about to basically be able to set up whatever shots he wants having those assault protons cook off. I'm going to do the question now for this video for the giveaway to Admiral Taylor's ship shop. And go ahead and respond in the comments below so you can be entered in or to get an additional entry. In this question, go ahead and give me if you were in the Star Wars universe, what race would you like to be? Would you prefer to just stay as a human or would you like to be a Zabrak or a Twi'lek or any of the other dozens of races that just completely perpetuate the entire universe? Mine's actually interesting when it comes to race. I think um, I would actually wouldn't mind being a Chiss. It does have to do with Thrawn, but I also uh, think it would be interesting to be part of the Chiss ascendancy as well and having that blue skin and those really cool red eyes. But anyway, go ahead and give me what race you would want to be if you actually lived in the Star Wars universe. And I am going to go and do my unmarked raider before he dies. It is a concentrate fire. What's big is He's going to get away, isn't he? Uh, he is, but I don't know if I can get into a spot where you're not going to get a shot off on him from these guys. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, all you need is one shot into an unshielded spot, which is my sides. And you have TRCs to guarantee damage. I have no way to evade it. Yeah. So uh, I might I, I might be able to maybe if I can like turn this way get out of range maybe point my shields at you. Uh, so we'll see. It depends on my maneuver after this happens to see if I can get to where you can't shoot an unshielded part of my ship. So I'm going to be doing a close range side to side uh, into Yavaris here. Then I'm also going to be doing a front to side into Bright Hope. You know, I know it is reduced damage, but I gotta start working on Bright Hope at some point anyway. Alright, side to side at close range, I get a blue and a black. Put it in here. I'll just leave it like that, actually. So, right, so reroll, I'm assuming this one? Yeah. Okay. Does that not affect an extra does in the Mon Mothma effect? Uh, no, Mon Mothma lets you do uh, um, cancellations at medium range. Okay. Yep, so I will brace for one. Okay, so just one face down. All right, and then the front to side into Bright Hope. And I'm going to double check my mock. I'm pretty sure she just makes it the way you get a benefit um, at medium. Okay, so when a friendly ship resolves the token, it can cancel one die at medium range or reroll one additional die. At close range. Or oh, one additional die at close range. Yeah, so let me reroll that blue. I forgot about the close range part. That was the same difference. So, all right, that's actually really good. That, that, was, that was she's better than I thought she was. I forgot about the close range benefit. All right, bright hope front to side. I get three blue and a black. That is not good. No accuracies yet. I am going to go ahead and concentrate fire in a blue. All right, and then I'm also, let me go ahead and grab, fortunately I do have a defense token, so I am gonna Vader this, I need an accuracy. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that crit and then reroll all of these. So no accuracy, scatter. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot believe that they avoided Bright Hope with the scatter. I am still going speed four. And 
I'm actually gonna try to turn back this way, get away from the CR 90s, and also hopefully maybe get to where my. Although I think I'm just setting myself to be shot by your bars. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way I could get away from being shot by somebody. Just all depends on who wants to get the kill on that raider. Okay, going with the virus. Okay, so we're gonna have two squads. And I think with the new Yvaris, since they're not gonna be able to move, they're locked down. So you're gonna get Yvaris anyway. Yvaris lets them add a die, right? Yeah. And that's even against squads, not just against ships. Um, uh, each squad in your activate may choose to attack only during your activation. If it does, while attacking, it may add one die to its attack pool of a color already in its attack pool. Nice. So even against squads, get the additional dice. So we got a couple of squads that are gonna be able to do some boosted shooting, and then Yvaris. Um, Robbie will decide whether he wants to do some flat shots or take some, uh... He is not in front on my radar. We checked. He's barely missing the corner. He does have Vader. Long range shot from the front. But he also might feel it's better to do some flat shots, so he'll decide on that after his flight. X-Wing's attacking the basic ice, or the original IG-88. He only has two health left. Okay, that was... Wow, so he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> that was the perfect roll. But counter back real quick for nothing and uh, so those uh, X-Wings did their job and they are being back locked down by the Mandalorian so he will they can't move though all right next X-Wing squad who's attacking um, I can't shoot him I'll attack the Mandalorian fighter okay so another one of the X-Wing squads attacking the Mandalorian gauntlet fighter or five. five. <laughs> Man, your your squads came to, to play this time. So two health remaining on that Mandalorian Gauntlet fighter. Definitely showing these bouncy hunters and rogues up. All right. So first shot from Yavars is going to be. We checked his rear arc. Unfortunately, can't hit my side. It's barely clipping the corner of my front. I have shields there. So he's going to go. Side to side, one red. He just needs one damage. I'm not putting my brace out here because it does nothing. He just needs a damage, yep. and that raider goes down. Yep. And you got it. So raider drops, and then uh, I guess you want to do some flacking. Yeah. You want to just go out the front? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to. Yep, so the main one got on fire that got shredded by the X-Wing squad has two health remaining. And it's dead. And then two on to Boba. Because Boba's also on the front. For one, and I'll just take the one, because his braces do not help against that. Well I'd say that Mon Mothma and the Uvaris yeah. definitely gave a pretty good showing there. <laughs> Keep him engaged. I'm in front there. Okay, we're gonna do my mark raider. It is a navigate, and I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I do have at medium range bright hope, and it is a clear shot. Front to side into bright hope here, and then I'm gonna be doing a side to side into the bars. Okay, starting with my bright hope shot, which will be three blue into the side. Stop your scatter, and we will leave it. And this is medium range, so you can cancel dice can with my Mothma. Uh, well, I don't think so. I don't think my Mothma gives you an extra cancel. I think that's just close range. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yep. so what? 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 what how many does it cancel? One. One. Yeah. But it's right hook, so then I subtract one damage. Yep, but if you don't cancel this crit, you're going to be taking three damage. Okay, so I will cancel the crit. Yep, so cancel the crit, and then Bright Hope, no damage. Alright, and then... Do you want to redo that? Because you could have maybe burned the... I could have made you burn the scatter. That Maybe I should have done that, but that's alright. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... 
probably would have been the smart thing to do. All right, now into uh, Yavaris, side to side. And then I will go ahead and spend this to Vader. We'll do both. You have a brace and evade, right? Actually, I'm going to lock down your evade. Since you can do a double. I bet I am still going to evade your this black one for nothing. Nice big whiff on that reader. Still alive. Yeah, it's still speed four. I'm using my navigate to extra click at the one. I'm just swinging on around here. Make sure this raider is staying in the fight. Bright Hope and with a uh, squadron for Bright Hope. Yep. Activate. Can I move him over to the No, he, ha he cannot move because he's being locked down. So that X Wing's going to be activated attacking Boba. And does he get counter or anything? Boba does not. So is he's within range? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's locking him down, too. So so just both of them attacking Boba Fett. All right, which one are we doing first? Uh, All right, X-Wing, coming in. Four blue. Oh. Um, did, was this? That was the hit that you... I think you hit that one. Uh, so okay. that's his... Yep, so you uh, bought those braces, so yeah, I have to okay. take two damage. All right, so Boba is down to three. All right, and then the Y-Wing. Two blues. Well, you got two and four, so you can roll one. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. I've been rolling all of these wrong. Okay. Everything shut up and take it. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So Bobo takes one more. Bobo's down to two health remaining. Yeah. I should have. I, I just remembered that you had torn far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it didn't matter because that one shot like five. Was well, amazing. No, you've been. You, <laughs> they've already been shooting amazing anyway. Moving right, right. two? Or no? No, you still down to one. That's right. Um, All right. He's getting hit. I'm gonna click one. Okay. I hit that X wing too when you turn. Uh, not my hitting the X wing. Uh, he's clear. This guy. Yeah, we're gonna put him over here so he's engaged with IG-88. Bravo. Okay, activating Vader. And he has had enough. It is a navigate command. And I do have a long range shot into Yavaris. And I'll be using Commander Beck to uh, basically activate a token of a command of a type. I'll do that on my first attack for a concentrate fire token. I then gain a concentrate fire raid, but that then will allow me to activate my gunnery teams, which I will then shoot long range shot front to front into Bright Hope. See if Vader, um, after the softening up from the Raiders, Vader is ready to finish things up here. Okay, starting with my shot on your Varus, I get five red, and then spinal armament gives me another red, so six red into the front. Holy cow. Um, I do want to use Beck, so I'm going to use Beck, gain, basically use a Concentrate Fire token. I'll reroll this one. Yep, and that hit that. Yeah, you can still brace it, but it'll, it'll still be. Yep, so. so you stopping the evade? Yep, definitely stopping the evade. Yuvaris goes down. And then with the Beck shenanigans, oh, this is my first time using her. I think I'm doing this right. That counted as a Concentrate Fire token. Oh, I will then. Gunnery teams, uh, three more to get up to your maximum hole. So they have five. And then gunnery teams into Bright Hope. I'm going to grab Bright Hope's. Uh... Well, this is actually good. For now, we're actually going to keep these. Keep these closer to here so they don't. And I'm going to Vader. And I think that might get you because Bright Hope cancels this and then four damage. So. Okay, so that was pretty crazy. Vader decided to just unleash the Wrath of the Sith there. I'm still just going to stay at speed one. Uh, no, I'll take that back. I do have a navigate, so I'm going to speed up to speed two and use my maneuverability. 
I'm actually going to get the extra click at the one. I want to do a little hard turn here. And I am going to land on Boba and this X Wing squad for sure. Uh, no, I didn't land on that X Wing squad. So they were actually fine. You get to place Boba Fett. Okay, so I'll just slide this in there. And the rest all comes down to you. 90. So the Mark CR90. Got to navigate. Going to the two. Wait, is that the, yeah, the front one? Okay. Uh, no, so hang on. The front one is going to be your other one. Right, okay. So this one. Yep. Alright, the navigate. Yep. And he's going three. Yep. Yep. So, I'm going to shoot. Yep, you definitely have. The medium range, you might get your blue. No, not quite medium, so it'll be a long range shot into Vader. Do I have that set? No, I don't. It doesn't work. If I do, let's see. No, no double arc. But, let me see if you're in range to flak. Not in range to flak. And that's going to be obstructed, so we're going to have to roll dice there. Alright, so CR90 shot in to Vader. Front to front, two reds. Okay. CRTs. Yep. Turn that into a double. So I will brace and redirect. We'll go to my starboard side. I'll, I'll actually do one and one. One on the front, one on the starboard. Yeah. One on the front over here. Uh, I'll give it. Yeah. So one on the front, and then one. It's so hard to get out of that front arc. Yeah, I guess it's gonna stay here for the other one. Yeah. You know, it's a navigate. And uh, if you want to go and use your, uh, grab your ruler real quick, your long range, or you can grab mine. Just to set those in there. And he actually will have a. No, I'm right. Oh, you are. Okay. You go to the corners. Barely touching there, and you are going to get a long range shot. You can throw just a, you know, single red, just a spot shot into my raider as well. Star destroyer, two reds, long range, and, and then T's. Yep. Double. I will just take it. Shields down on the front. And then do you want to take the single red pot shot at the Raider? Yeah. The Raider. Yep. And... No. Right. I'm going to get double. I don't know, I don't know if there's anywhere you could go <laughs> to get out of there. Mm. Or sight. Fortunately, out of range. You might want to drop down to three, yeah, so you can turn harder. Because even with the navigate at three, you can get like the click at the one. You get a lot of clicks at speed three with the navigate. What I'm gonna have to do is go to speed three. Right, drop into three. And just turning as hard as possible. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna really catch it. Okay, squadron phase. Uh, there's going to be quite a bit of squadron play here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate Boba Fett and deal a damage to this X-Wing squad. Um, just want to double check. Can you hand me your one? Distance yeah. one? We'll check that he is within distance one of this guy. And he is. So that'll kill this X-Wing squad from Boba's special ability. And then Boba's going to shoot this Y-Wing squad on three health. And then IG-88 Bravo, I'm actually going to, I was thinking I didn't want to do this, but he is going to do his special ability since this Y-Wing is close to basically attack everybody within range 1. But treat it as obstructed, so it had to be one less uh, dice while doing so. Okay, Boba Fett. Uh, only one damage on that Y-Wing squad. 
one? Uh, the one that he's engaged with there. And then IG-88. Actually... I'm actually just going to have him focus. I'm not going to have him do his, his spread attack. I changed my mind. I want him to actually focus on some Wildlings. He's going on to the Wildlings squad that has 5 health left. That's the closest one. 4, 2 damage. 5 damage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, then you get to pick uh, 2 squads to activate. I think you just your 2 Wildlings, your blue Wildlings here. And they have to shoot at IG-88 because he's currently locking them down. Alright, first one. Two blue. Uh, oh yeah, Torn Four is going now. I was about to say Torn Four. And second one? Yeah, counter. Oh, yep. Yeah. Counter one, which one was this? Uh, the blue one. The blue one? Okay. Nothing? Yeah. Yeah. And the undamaged squad. One damage and scatter. And counter back. Four, one. And then I'm just going to have my Mandalorian fighter. He's going to slide over. It was that one, yeah. But he is going to be attacking the blue squad. That's right in front of your screen there. Let's see if we can't finish it off. I need three damage. Only got two. Alive on one. That's it for squads. We'll be at the start of round four after we plan our dials. Okay, start of round four, and unfortunately it is not looking good for the Rebels. As you can see, both of these CR-90s are in the front arc of a Simoon that does have gunnery teams. I don't know if Foresight can get back into the fight fast enough to do enough damage to drop him, and we shall see. Alright, so I am going to go with... Vader on the side moon. It is a navigate, but I'm going to discard this style to get rid of my raid concentrate fire token so I can use Beck again. And I will be doing front to rear on both of the CR 90s. I'm going to start off on the marked CR 90. Six reds with spinal. And although, I don't know how important these are. Right now, I'm going to use my Concentrate Fire from Beck, just as if I had a token. And then, I'm going to keep these two accuracies and then Vader, these three. I'm spending one of my redirects, I forgot to bring my defense tokens over. Alright, so no evades. And three damage. Unless you want to use your redirect. Yeah, I'm, I'm not locking your redirect down. So. so I'll redirect one in the front. Well, it would have to be two. Um, sorry. Okay. You can redirect. You can redirect both. So. Yeah, just get rid of the shields. So rear shields and starboard shields down. And then activating gunnery teams with the uh, what I got from Beck. So that's going to be six more red into the rear of the. Uh, unmarked. Okay. It's a little bit better. Stop that evade there. And then spend my other redirect for, to Vader. Actually, I'm going to spend my contain to Vader. That was that. So. I think I'm actually going to do this instead because fucking one does, new, does nothing. So you can have me reroll one or discard it to have me reroll two. No, discard it, reroll the double and the crit. And the crit, alright, double and crit being rerolled. They work, there you go. So two damage, one will be going on the hole because you cannot redirect it. That's how red dice can go. That was very underwhelming compared to last round shooting. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, that's how red dice can go, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I need to get myself Custard Fire Raid to do in the back. Um, I thought for sure I was going to kill at least one of those, but... <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to get that one. It definitely did not happen. I'm going speed two, uh, and I cannot adjust it unless I want to do back for... I don't think I mind. I think I'm just going to stay at speed two and start turning just a standard turn in. I think I might ram, and if I do, that is fine. I'm going to ram. So we both take a face down. And I am landing on Boba again. And I think I might be landing on that white one squad. Uh, no, I did not. So you get to place Boba. Him on with Boba. As soon as, when he activates, he does damage to somebody nearby. So as long as he's not near somebody when he activates, that won't go off. Yeah, he does it to well, he does it to ships as well. Okay. So is he in flagging right now? He is. So yeah. well, you, yeah, you'll be moving before he activates. So yeah, that won't matter. Three. Yeah, Mark Sierra ninety. Yeah, navigate. navigate. We've got a double arc shot into my front rear and side, or like I said, you could flak. One yeah, you won't kill him, but you'll get him down to one. I mean, I could, but I could totally whiff. Um, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, you could, yeah, you could flak, and then you could. So I had flak. side to front. Yeah, you have side and rear to front. Into. Okay, so I'll just do that. Okay. So is that one blue for the side? Do one blue, one red. Uh, front to then side to front. Side to front. We red. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'll turn this into a double CRTs. Okay. And I will stop your brace. So no brace. Take a double coming in. I'll go ahead and redirect. This is into the front, correct? Yep. Right. Redirect to the starboard side. So shields down on the starboard side. Right then, rear shot. One on red. I will. And you'd have a concentrate fire token. Very nice. I will brace and take it. Alright, Star Destroyer has taken two damage so far. This is going to be close. Nope, you missed. Barely missed. <laughs> that was some close <laughs> flying right there. <laughs> my marked raider, my remaining raider. It's concentrate fire. I have no strats on ships, what I am going to use it on is I'm going to be doing some flacking out the side. Okay, flacking. I only have one at close range, that's the X-Wing squad with three health, so blue-black. Uh, one hit, I will add in a black with my concentrate fire. Two hits, and I'm pretty sure Vader only lets me do it against ships. Yep, I do not use Vader stuff on squads. In the long range flacking, we have the uh, first Y-Wings, the ones that, the green Y-Wings, for one. And then the red white wings for one. And I'm still flying along at speed four. This raider is actually in good shape, so he definitely wants to get back into the fight. Make sure he can keep assisting Lord Vader. He's just going to come right back on in. Okay, navigate on the unmarked CR90. Back shot, side shot. You got a rear shot into. Vader, and then if you then you get a side to front, also close range, into the Raider. All right, Raider front. Four damage. Uh, I'll just take it. So one face down, and then side to front into my Raider. At the close range. Take it. So take it, alright, so re-roll the double. Right now, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, with the evade. Uh, okay, so just take one on the shield. Uh, um, speed 4. Run up to speed 4. Navigate. Maybe that one. Yep. You take out the Raider, the shot kind of looks like, you know, the new hope. The new hope, and the <laughs> start. Devastator <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I almost put the Devastator title on this, I was thinking about it. 
So I like doing. I, I, it's very expensive. It costs ten. I don't think it's worth it. But for every defense token that I have discarded that's gone, I get to add a blue dice to my forward art mm -hmm. shots. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So as I use defense tokens, I get more attacks out the front or more dice out the front. I don't know if it's worth ten points, but. I should have done it because it's Vader and I like doing narrative, but. Yeah. Ten points is expensive <laughs> for a title that's not super awesome. All right, and then foresight. What do we got? Yep. Navin trying to keep up. Do you want to go back up to four? Yep. Yeah. Now you got a straight shot to catch back up with me. Even with my Mothma dead, foresight can still take a hit, but. Front arc, yep. If you stay at four, or if you go up to four, if you stay at three, yeah. If you stay at three, you won't. Yeah. Yeah. If you do have Lando, you got foresight. Well, I'll be moving first, so depends after I move, because I probably will want to activate him first. But yeah, you're definitely in missile range. Yeah. Alright, now for the squadron phase, I'm going to be starting RG88B, and I'm going to do his special ability. I had to relook up his FAQ when it comes to escorts. So he's going to be able to attack everybody within one, counting as obstructed. I have to start with the escorts first. If the escort dies, which is just this guy here, because this x wing is not in engagement, then I can continue attacking other ships that are within one. And then after that, I will be... The side where I send the Mandalorian Gotham Fighter, he'll be activating next, but I'm not sure where he's going. It depends on how effective IG-88 is. Okay, I have to treat these as obstructed. I normally get two blue, two black. All my shots, I'm just going to do one blue, two black. And have to start with the X-Wing Squad on one health. Whiff! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my I was about to say, just... Go ahead and... I was about to be able to... Re I, man, there are so many I was going to be able to remove here. That is terrible. Oh, that's so bad. Um, yeah, and I, I have to stop. I, nothing I can do about it. Wow, okay. Oh well, the Man Mandalorian then is going to go over to the other Y-Wing X-Wing combo. The Y-Wing's not locking him down because the Y-Wings are heavy. Just to lock these guys down so they can't bomb my Star Destroyer. And we will shoot what we have to shoot, which is the X-Wing squad, the escort. Uh, he takes two. That is one squad. And then you get to activate two. Apparently, everybody's being locked down by somebody. I'll go ahead and uh, see if, uh, go ahead and take the white X wing out. Try to take it out as much as I can on the uh, the, the, the the blue X wing. Wait, is he? In, no, he's not in range of him. Is he? He is not. No. Yeah. All right. See how much you can drop on IG88 before I get the counter back. So four blue. Uh, and you got the accuracy, so he does take two damage. Goes down to two health, and then counter back of one. Still... <laughs> this this IG-88B is glitching or something. All right, then your second squad. Gonna attack the Mandalorian. Okay, this is a fresh Mandalorian. Three damage, nice hit. So it goes down to four. And then Boba's gonna come in and get on the action. I'm just gonna read the same picture up there, guys. You can see the, we don't have to change it, but Boba's just flying around to engage with the X-Wing that just attacked the Mandalorian fighter. Oh, and as he activated, you take one damage on Foresight, because Foresight was, it, was in, in one. So you can take it on... Uh, besides you just take a damage, you pick a shield, take the damage on. Then on the X-Wing Squad, Boba only gets two. The X-Wing Squad is so... Man, these Rebel Pilots <laughs> are just hanging in against these mercenaries and bounty hunters. Right on the edge. Yeah, the it is the paint. The paint is helping defend. The, the, they're like, we're, we're actually world squadrons now, so. Let me add the paint, add the little, it makes them a little thicker on the outside. Yeah, yeah, extra armor. All right, well now you just have uh, three Wild Wings left to do attacks. Mm -hmm. The close Wild Wing squad that you guys are seeing on the screen has to attack IG-88 if he attacks. 
but I, he does have a so counter. So can attack him. Yeah, the other two are always going to attack the Mandalorian without ramifications. Alright, we'll right, on the Mandalorian, first one. One damage, and second one. One damage. Mandalorian's down to two. Then, then did you want to attack? You don't have to attack. I'm, I'm gonna have to because I'm gonna kill it. Okay. I'm gonna take, uh, IG. Attacking IG. That will scatter it and then counter back. Can your luck continue to hold? He finally gets a hit. That Wyvern squad does go down. Okay, that's all squadrons, and we will be back at the start of round five. Yeah, um, round five here. I thought, I was telling Robbie, I thought this was over, but then when I whiffed on these CR90s, you know, I don't know if I'm ever get a decent shot on this guy again. And this guy is hightailing it, full burn, getting away. And the foresight with Lando is now in optimal range, starting unleashing its assault proton torpedoes. This match is far from over, folks. Because uh, I forgot, actually. I took another damage. I need to take that. Star Destroyer has taken three damage. Can the Rebels, can Lando, snatch victory out of the jaws of defeat? So I was very conflicted of whether or not I wanted to let Robbie do his foresight shot into my unshielded front of the Star Destroyer, but. As you can see, I am barely, barely in range to do a front-to-rear shot on this fleeing CR-90. And I have to take it before he gets away. And we'll hope my Star Destroyer can take this hit, and I hope that's not a mistake. So it is a concentrate fire, and it will be front-to-rear. Right, front front-to-rear. There are no shields on the back, so people know. And this is a medium-range shot. So three blue. It's actually pretty good. Or make any choices. We'll go ahead and concentrate fire. Okay. Do I want to Vader anything? I don't think so. I think I'll risk the reroll. Stop your redirect so you have to take it on the hall. And that'll be three damage, one of them a crit. Reroll the crit, I'm guessing. Okay. Got the damage, I think. I got lucky and gotcha. So, uh, okay, so that's two. It's gonna be three damage. Okay. On the back. Yep, on the back. Are there no shields on the back? Nope. Yeah. I, I thought there were two. Oh no, there's no. Yeah. That was just pure luck there. All right, got really lucky on that. But now we'll see if. Uh, I just let Robbie just get a nice big hit on Foresight onto my Star Destroyer. We'll see if I pay for that. Going at speed four. I'm almost tempted to. I don't want to keep chasing it because if I do that, then I'm going to let you do a torpedo shot on my Raider. No, nope, that's stupid. <laughs> no, I think the Raider has done his job. It is time to fly away. So Foresight, Lando, taking his shot side to front. Uh, what's the command? Command is a navigate. Command is a navigate, and this is going to be a pretty heavy Okay, side to front. I have no shields on the front, no shields on the starboard, and this is going to be the full force of the uh, MC-30 torpedo frigate. Coming in. That's a good shot. <laughs> Stop my brace. Yeah, wow. So I'm guaranteed taking the crit because of the assault protons. I mean, I have to redirect. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Redirect three to my port shields. And then I'm taking three face down in addition to the assault proton torpedo. So four total damage. First one is going to be face up from the assault protons. All right, my damage, the assault proton damage controls. When I overlook, overlap a ship or obstacle, I deal plus one face down damage card in addition to the other effects. So that's not good. And then three more face down. Darth Vader Star Destroyer has taken seven damage, five health remaining. Only shields on the back remaining. And then Foresight is moving speed four still. 
You can slow down if you want. I'm not going to get you because you're going to move away. Yeah, the CR90 uh, out, I'll be moving next and most likely. Unless you can slow down to speed 3 and like maybe force a ram based on the angle <laughs> to make me stop. But um, it just depends on how you want to move your foresight. I'm going to speed 4. I'm going to navigate. Yep. And you're going to be moving. Stay straight. Okay. It's gonna be interesting for me to try to get around that, and it's, I think it's statistically impossible for me to kill an MC30 with foresight with one shot. Well, speaking of, the only one I got left, it is Vader, and it is an engineering. I'm gonna be spending my token that I have to get six engineering points, and I'm just gonna heal my. Physical damage, heal the crit, and heal the damage card. I'm definitely going to be doing a close range shot into foresight. We'll do front to rear. And then I think I'm actually going to flack out the back. See how many, how much damage I can do to these squads out the back. Okay, I'm going to do my flacking first. We're going to hit the uh, Blue Angels X Wing Squadron first. One damage. Then the green Y Wings. One damage. Red Y wings. Two damage. So they go down. And then the remaining silver X wings. Two damage. Well, that was pretty effective flapping. Only the green Y wings remain. Now for the front to rear shot into Foresight. I'm going to grab Foresight's fences. It'll be five red, two blue, and then adding a red for spinal. Oh man, this almost just feels like an exercise in futility, but I gotta shoot, I gotta shoot! Wow. That actually... I don't know if I could have asked for any... Definitely using all these accuracies. So you can't do anything, except Lando, of course. Lando is still here. Yep, I'll leave that, and I am going to Vader. Might as well get as much damage as I can, even though we'll do the contain. Some contains are worthless against your APTs. That's not going to do much, but... Alright, that will be four damage going right into your aft that you can't do anything about. So that'll actually be three damage hitting the whole first one face up. Yeah, I figured you want to land on that. So, reroll the double. Reroll the double. We will all of it. All of it? Okay. Uh, yes, yes. I think that saved your life, though, because I don't think it's possible for you to die now. So you take one on the shield, and then one face up and one face down. So even if it's a structural... Well, actually, if it's a structural, I could ram you. Oh, my goodness. So it's not a structural. I don't want to. I don't want it to go like that. That's just going to be right, mean. So, um, first one face up. First one face up. Next one face down. Uh, capacitor failure. What? If the whole one has no remaining shields, you cannot recover shields in it, nor move shields to it. If the whole one is spinning, you cannot spin. If that whole zone is descending, you cannot spin. Uh, Redirects. And then one more? Just one more. Yeah. Well, Lando definitely really helped out you. there. And I don't think there's any way for me to avoid ramming currently at speed two. And I've heard a lot of things about Beck, and I can see how she's been useful, but she's useful here. I'm gonna use Beck to give myself a nav token effect to slow down to one, so I'm not gonna ram. And then I take a nav raid. And that'll save me from getting um, additional damage to my starter's rear. Okay, I've got to navigate. So let's see if there's a shot there, but I think it is obstructed, so I won't be able to get the. Yeah, it would be obstructed, so no shot there. All right, doing a hard turn. All right, squadron phase. I'm going to start with. IG-88, and then see what happens there. I'm attacking that Wildwind squad. 
it doesn't, then I'll use the Mandalorian to kill it. If he does, then I'll just describe where the rest of my squad. Okay, so... IG-88B on the Y-Wing squad with three health left. He's finally figured out a shoot for four damage. Alright, then I'm going to send Boba. He's going to fly over. Go and grab your CR-90. Boba's going to go in the Mandalorian going to do some attacks from here. Both get to the rear where there's no shields. We'll start with Boba, who is a bomber. Is blue black. Just leave it. Well, I can't modify it, so it'll be hit crit. And we still spend. Can you oh, finish token? Um, I force you to reroll. The crit, I'm guessing. Crit. Yep. Still hit crit. Uh, but it have to be to the sides because I'm shooting in the back. Okay. Over there. Yep, you have two shields. So you can send both of it to the other right. way. Other way. Yep, so redirects. And then the Raider, or not Raider, Mandalorian Gauntlet Fighter, into the rear as well. Not a bomber. <laughs> Very accurate miss. Alright, coming up, it'll be the start of round six, the final round. Start of round six. They are coming down to the literal wire here. Boba Fett and IG-88 Bravo and Mandalorians are hounding the CR-90. But it's fast. I'm going to be able to get out of the way. The real test is here. Can Vader get lucky again to lock down all those redirects and evades? Do the final damage to Foresight. Or will Foresight survive and be able to unload even more shots into the wounded Star Destroyer that has minimal health remaining? Okay, I am going to be doing Vader first, of course. It is an engineering. And I'm going to heal one damage. And use my remaining one to redirect one shield from the rear and put it to my front. Or actually, I'm going to put it to my port side. I take that back. And. Robbie did use his reinforced blast doors. Unfortunately, you can only do face down damage cards, but he was able to get rid of one of them. So it'll make this not as much of a painful hit. Increase the odds. So I'll be doing a front shot there, and I'll be doing a pot shot, one red into the front of the CR90, because I believe this is long range. Yep, still long range. So unfortunately, the critical effect I just realized super neutered Robbie's foresight title so he actually can't redirect any of this so we'll I'll start with the front to rear yeah and that'll do it even with uh, you forcing me to reroll two let's say they come up to blank with an evade that's still gonna be enough mm -hmm. since you can't redirect man that is the worst critical to get for foresight that, that's ridiculous um, then just a uh, pot shot and CR 90 one damage on the front. You can just cancel it with an evade. Yep. And then just moving forward, speed one. Uh, do navigate. Engine. Um, gonna go. Am I in range? Uh, you're definitely in range. You shoot me in the back if you want. Two reds. So I'm going to do a front to rear shot. All right, two reds coming in. And then we'll just CRT that. Turn it into a double. Uh, wings on it. Stop my brace. Okay, and I'll just redirect it, take it on the rear shield, and the shield I just moved to the port side. Oh, wait, what about the token? Uh, oh, you can reroll uh, up to two. Did you want to reroll the accuracy? No? Okay. Do you want to take some pot shot flak shots? Yeah. If you flak out the rear, you can get the Mandalorian and Boba Fett. Alright, so Boba Fett. Nothing. nothing. And then Mandalorian. One. One. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, my radar. Speed four is a navigate, dropping to speed three. Just gotta do a turn here and try to not fly off the board. Yeah, I'm getting the extra click at the one. Just another click there, just to make sure I don't fly off. And then squadrons. Have a couple chasing down the CR90 here. G88 and Lorian can come in. I don't think Boba Fett can get in range. No. He'll still fly that way, but he will not be able to get in range to do bomber attack. So just a couple quick shots here. So IG88 for one. Uh, and he does still have his full, you have to redirect in your evades. Um, yeah. where's the back? Yeah, come into the back. So you can just redirect to the side. There's no shields. Oh, no shields, okay, so then you can evade and make a reroll it. Uh, yeah, I'll make a reroll it. Okay. So right. one, so face down. And, yeah, I can't kill you. Because two blues, even I get two hits, so one hit, another face down, CR90 survives. So that'll be it. I mean, it is going to be an Imperial victory. I'll tally up the points later and put them on the screen for you. But really, really unfortunate at the end there, the crit that Foresight got. I, I really thought I was in trouble. But we'll discuss that more in the post-game. Alright, so it did turn out to be an Imperial victory. Vader is pleased and didn't feel like choking out any of his officers right now. Uh, and you guys will see the points up there. We didn't calculate the points here, but I'll make sure and post that I calculate them and will be on the screen so you guys can see. But, uh, I, Rob, before I let you go, I just want to say real quick, I thought it was real. <laughs> the two shots I got on Foresight, I mean, again, just going back to last game where you must have pissed off the dice gods. <laughs> first shot, I got four accuracy to lock everything down. So everything went internal. And even if with Lando, I was able to still get a crit to go in, and the one crit you pull <laughs> is where you can't use redirects if the whole zone being shot, it has no shields. Right, right. And I was able to do that the next turn, so you couldn't even use Foresight's ability to do multiple redirects mm -hmm. around your hull to absorb all the damage coming in. That right. was, that was uh, just really bad luck. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it's like how the game's left. You gotta, you gotta have some luck on your side sometimes. So I mean, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, still struggling with MSU squads <laughs> or just MSU in general. Well, it's tough to run. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's uh... still gotta do a lot of prediction and a lot of. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, failure. Your your failure rates a lot. There's a thinner kind of line. The, the more you mess up, the more you, uh, you know, it's magnified. I think with MSU plays. So. Yeah, there's yeah, there's not a lot of room. Like if if you get an error with you know a star destroyer or an MC80, mm -hmm. now you can recover from that because it can take the hit. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you're not gonna. But like you said, with the small ships, if you the one wrong move could put you in line of a big shot coming in. And right, then you're, right. it just goes downhill from there. Well, um, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. I mean, I'd like to run some more because uh, I do think in the end it only does benefit you, when, especially when you're piling. But yeah, those big ships definitely give you a lot more uh, leeway when it comes to making mistakes, uh, especially. But, um, you know, it was just, it was just, uh, no, it was just uh, what it was. Uh, I thought when the uh, I thought the fourth side that once again I almost totally messed up and didn't get any shots off with the torpedoes because of miscalculation. So I, was, I struggled. I personally struggled calculating where people are going to be on the board because when you speed up when you sped up to speed three with your star destroyer, that's when it really got uh, bad for me because I was like, oh, there he goes again. He's gone. So uh, I, I did not take that into account. So once again, that's kind of the it's one of those things. It's what makes Armada fun is that you kind of have to predict what your opponent's, what your opponent's going to do. do, yeah. And if you forget that, then you're in trouble. And I, I definitely got in trouble here. Uh, because if I had 
cut in more towards the beginning and cut you off, I probably would have kind of broken things up a little bit instead of having oh, you not, come back. Oh, not kind of, Vane. That would have been devastating. Yeah. Just think you got the one shot you got off mm -hmm. with Foresight was devastating on my starter score. You yeah. dropped me down to half health with one hit. Yeah. And it, like I said, if you would have cut in earlier, you would have been doing that multiple times. And mm -hmm. yeah. I think you could have easily killed my Star Destroyer then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's the only thing that saved it was me turning away and speeding up. And Man, on the squadrons, so those, those IGs. Oh, man, those... Yeah. yeah, I've never run rogues before, but just having all those rogues when I don't have to worry about doing squadron commands. Mm -hmm. I, I like running squads of squad commands, but... Doing the rogue play is actually interesting because it frees you up to do other things with your ships, mm -hmm. the commands you yeah. do. Yeah, um, yeah. I just uh, once uh, Yvaris was off the board, and then Fort uh, Brad Hoax, it was it's going to be trouble. The squads were big time trouble. They were pulling pretty good weight there at the beginning. They were, yeah, because because you're be able to you were doing your squad commands. You could hit them before I could hit you. But like I said, as soon as I dropped your squad pushers, then. Mm -hmm. they, and with me being a first player, I'd be able to hit you first in the squad phase. So yeah, kind of yeah. Turn yeah. it around a little bit. That, that was also pretty brutal, was uh, being second player. And, that, and that's, I guess that's a sign of a bad player when you're MSU and you're not doing very good on the second. Well, I, last I turn. don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, it's just practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, playing multiple small ships is, like I said, it's tough. It's such a small margin of error. Mm -hmm. If you make a mistake, it, it's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. Compared to if you make a yeah. mistake with a big ship, yeah. So. Uh, but I, I see it's uh, it's death with a thousand cuts with the smaller ships, and uh, yeah, just keep practicing, getting better, and uh, we'll see what happens. But that's what I like about the rebels; it's kind of their their scrappy nature. Yeah, and putting together an assortment of kind of smaller ships against the yeah. But once the once the Yvaris and Brad Hope, had, I think that was pretty devastating because then the squads were. Just adrift, doing nothing, pretty yeah. much. Because when I was had Yvaris, I was throwing five dice with X. Oh, well, and you had five hits yeah, on that five one. Hits, yeah. And then the other one guy, he got four with an accuracy to stop yeah. a scatter or something. Yeah. It was. I mean, that's why these two guys are dead. Was mm -hmm. from those hits. It, I knew it was gonna be. A problem. If, if you could have kept doing that, I mean, yeah. you would have chewed through the rest. I mean, all my squads, my remaining squads, the ones alive, only had two health or one health remaining. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. They're still almost dead anyway, too. Well, and then the, the Vader shot against uh, against Yvaris and Brahma. Right, but, yeah, but those that was <laughs> yeah that was absolutely that was pretty devastating. I mean, again, getting exactly what it, well the the Yvaris one was way overkill. Yeah, but against Bright Hope, I got got exactly what I needed: two yeah. accuracies and then the exact damage to get through Bright Hope and the shields in the hole. Yeah, because I mean, if I could have kept the fighters in the match one more round. Um, Probably play that different, a little different, but yeah, it's just the MSU stuff is going to have to, that should have maybe brought one more ship, maybe changed some things up to try to bring up one more squadron pusher, but yeah, maybe what it was, it's a good game though, I, I, I enjoyed it very much. Well, I have to say, I definitely, uh, I mean, I haven't run Vader in forever, but just, there's a reason why he's 36 points, yeah. no, six, because just yeah. any ship being able to do reroll anything, you said spend a defense token. And so that's another thing you don't have to plan for. I didn't have to put any, I didn't put any dice mitigation upgrade mm -hmm. cards on my ships because I didn't need it. Right, right. So Vader is still very powerful, a very top tier commander for sure. Yeah. And Beck, Commander Beck, I'd never used her before. I'd never even considered using her before, but she's so versatile. Where because you can do her actually twice around. You can get a command token of any type you want on your activation. You just have to take a matching raid token. Yeah. And then what I did, I just next turn you just take the dial and then just discard to get rid of those raid tokens. You just do it again. Mm -hmm. So her versatility, I'm going to use her a lot more. I'd never even considered using her, but just the mm -hmm. versatility of being able to just get whatever command you want in token form, right. especially for activating cards now that you need to activate cards, or mm -hmm. just to get that slowdown I needed so I didn't ram and hurt myself even more. Right. It's just, uh, I really like her. I'm going to use her a lot more now that I see her versatility. So. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, don't forget to answer the question in the comments below. The question for this one is, if you were in the Star Wars universe, which Star Wars race would you prefer to be, or do you think would be fun to be in the Star Wars universe? And when you enter that, that'll enter you in to win the $50 store credit to Admiral Taylor's ship shop. And then we are getting closer to the end of the month, so it'll be the 31st will be the last chance you can answer these questions. 
then on April 1st, I'll be releasing the video announcing the winner for the March giveaway. So until next time, take it easy.